Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life, where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we're going to talk about how to control either your Android phone or your iPhone with your computer. Now, before we get started, if this is your first time to my channel, I make videos about living life with vision impairment, tips and tricks videos, how-to videos, and an emphasis on assistive technology that can help make your life better. If that kind of content sounds good to you, I definitely recommend subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so you'll always be alerted every time I put out a new video. Also join us over on the Blind Life Discord. Join the community in here. You can uh, ask questions, get some help with things. Lots of cool stuff going on in the Blind Life Discord. That link will also be in the description down below or you can just search the Blind Life on Discord. Finally, if you would like to help support the channel, you can become a member of The Blind Life. You can get early access to video content and even behind the scenes videos, just like the one I posted earlier today, just like this one. So definitely check out becoming a member of the channel, link in the description down below. All right, on to the video. So as I said at the beginning, we're going to be looking at how to control your Android phone or your iPhone using your Windows PC. Here on Windows 10, you can use the Your Phone feature or service to control your phone through your computer. It's been out for a few years. I've been using it for a while, never made a video about it, so thought it would be a good topic to share with you guys today. To get started, you're going to go to your settings here and you're going to go to the phone section. This is where you would come to start the process, link your phones and get everything set up. Now I've already done that and I'm going to be showing you with my Galaxy S10, my Samsung phone, which you can see right here. So once everything is set up, you just want to launch the your phone app. You can go into your programs here. You can also search your phone and launch it this way. I would recommend saving it to either your taskbar or to your start menu once you do. But once it's connected, you have almost pretty much full access to your phone through this app. Over here to the side, it shows the phone that you have that you're currently using. You have a list of things you can do here. This includes looking at your notifications. And if I click on it here, I have all my notifications. You can go to messages and send and receive text messages. We can look at photos. And these are all the photos on your device. And you can also drag and drop these photos from your device to your desktop. Click on apps. And here are all the apps in your phone. You also notice that down here, it's displaying the music I'm li currently listening to. And actually, I'm currently listening to an audio book. So let's go through real quick and talk about some ways that this could be super helpful for someone with low vision. Now, I'm in text messages here, and I'm going to send a new text message. So let's see who we want to send this to. Okay, we're just going to do a test message. One thing to note is you have a bunch of extra things you can add into this text. You can do emojis. I can add a GIF. I can add a photo. We're just going to send this. All right. I just received that text message on my other phone. And if I receive a text message, I get a little notification pops out down here and it tells me that I just received a text message and I can reply directly from this notification. Now let's jump in to check out some apps here. So as I mentioned, you have full access to all of your apps and this can be extremely helpful, especially if you have low vision. So let's do a test here. Let's check out YouTube and I'm going to click on it. It opens up that second window. Let's drag this window and bring it over, minimize that main window so we can take a look at this one. And this is basically your phone screen. I can use the mouse wheel to scroll through the list here, or I can even click and drag the list up. The app works fully, so I can access everything just like I would on the phone. You can even swipe over just like you could on your phone. I mean, it works exactly the same way. 
some apps that I found it very helpful to do them on the computer is social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If I am uploading a new video to TikTok, it's so much easier for me to fill out all the description information, the hashtags, all of that through the computer interface rather than the phone's interface. Now this section here for apps, if I click on an app, it just opens up that app, but I don't have access to the rest of the phone. If I want to completely access the phone, I need to come up here to the left and click on the picture of the phone. And this opens up another window just like before, but this is my phone. Let's move that over. This is everything on my phone. This is my desktop, my home screen, all my home screens. I swipe up from the bottom. Here's my app drawer. Now, unfortunately, you can't really make this window any larger. If I try to snap it to the top here, it simply takes up the full right side. It's slightly larger, but not too much. But that's okay because you can zoom in using your Windows magnifier or whatever magnifier you're using. Just to show you this in action, let's go ahead and create a new Instagram post. Here I am <laughs> recording this video right now. Let's click on the circle and take a picture. There we go. All right, let's choose Lark. I like Lark. And we'll go ahead and go to the next one. So I can fill in the caption here, but what's great is I can use the keyboard on my computer for this. Makes it so much easier. Quick tip for Instagram, go down to advanced settings and down to write alt text. Add alt text to your photo so that screen readers will read out the photo description. All right, alt text is written. Let's go ahead and post this. And there's the picture posted to Instagram. Not my best picture, but that's okay. So this was how to connect your Android or your iPhone to your Windows computer and control them through the Your Phone app. Definitely check it out. It's really cool and super helpful. But that is it for me, guys. I have wasted enough of your time. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. That definitely helps out the channel. And if you have any questions for me, please leave those in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching, guys. Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.